guys, welcome back to Spelling and Word Study. My name is Mrs. Rhodes and I'm here to get you started on Unit 23, Long U Patterns that use the vowel teams UE, EW, and UI. Please take a second to gather your materials. You will need your teal book open to page 143. You will also need some colorful pens, markers, or crayons. Remember, whatever I mark on my board, you should be marking on your page. Please save room for a key as well. If at any point I'm moving too fast, please pause the video and catch up. All right, so we are almost done with our study of long vowels. We talked about different vowel teams and letter combinations that come together to make a long A sound, long E, long I, and long O. Last week we started talking about long U, and we figured out that that O-O pattern in words like food and mood um, is a very common pattern uh, that's used to make that long U Ooh sound. That O O sound usually appears in the middle of a word like food or room, but can appear at the end in words like two or igloo. So today we're going to talk about three more vowel teams. Some of them are very common, some of them not so much. Um, but I want you to notice where they're found. Do they tend to show up at the beginning of a word, at the middle, or in the end? But first, let's read our list. Please repeat after me. And as you do, listen for that oo or u sound. Blue, crew, drew, fruit, grew, new, screw, suit, through, true. Did you hear that oo sound? Perfect. Okay, so choose a color. The first pattern I want to talk about is the EW pattern. When you see EW at the end of a word, it's going to be, be pronounced OO in words like blue and new, or it will be pronounced U in words like few. Okay, we see it here in blue and crew, and drew, grew, and new, and screw, and through. So you can see already that EW pattern is very common. It's a good one to memorize, and notice it shows up at the end of a word. So red box equals EW, and that's going to make a long U sound. Okay, another pattern that I wanna talk about is UI. We see it here in the word fruit. We also see it in the word suit. In bigger words, we see it in places like juice and cruise, um, but it's not that common. We don't see it very often. Fruit and suit are common words, so I would memorize those. Notice that that UI shows up in the middle of a word. You will never see it at the end. Over here, green box equals UI, and that also makes a long U sound. Our third and final pattern that I want to talk about is the UE pattern. Now this week we only see it in the word true, but you've seen it before in words like do, like well, my library books are do. Uh, you've seen it in words like sue, blue, the color, and glue. Oh, and clue. So it's a pretty common pattern. Notice it always hangs out at the end of a word, okay? 
And so when you see that UE chunk, it is also going to make a long U sound. Okay, so three U patterns, E, W, U, I, and U, E. E, W, and U, E show up at the end of a word. U, I is always tucked into the middle of a word. Okay, uh, just as a quick review, we do have a silent letter team here. Whenever we see K, N at the beginning of the word, the K is silent, the N does the talking. So over here, orange box equals silent letter team. They work together. Okay, um, we also have several homophones this week. Remember homophones, two words that sound the same but are spelled differently and have different meanings. So if we look at this word, blue, that means the wind blew, or I could, um, I could feel the wind as it blew um, through my window. So this is the opposite, or not the opposite, the past tense of blow, okay? We could be talking about the wind. We could be talking about our own breath. I blow out my candles. Yesterday, I blew out my candles. This kind of blue is different from this kind of blue. This blue is a color. So blue and blue are homophones. Um, we have another one, this here, new, means like I knew the answer. Now I know it, yesterday I knew it. This kind of new sounds like this kind of new, but this new is the opposite of old, right? I bought some new sneakers. All right, we have one more homophone on our list. Can you see it? It's another verb. Through is the past tense of throw. Now I throw you the ball. Yesterday I threw you the ball. There's another kind of through. Look at all those crazy letters. This kind of through means I walked through the door, or a bird flew through the window. So blue and blue, new and new, through and through. Anywhere you see that blue squiggle, that is a homophone. Two or more words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to just make sure we're clear on our vocabulary. Um, and so as I talk about the meanings of the words, I'm going to la uh, label them either N for noun, V for verb, or A for adjective. Okay, starting with blue. This is a verb. It's an action word. It's actually the past tense of blow, right? Now I blow out my candles. Yesterday I blew out my candles. Crew is a noun. A crew is a group of people that work together. Okay, so you could talk about a ship's captain and his crew. You could talk about uh, a landscaper who hires people. They're part of his landscaping crew. So it's a group of people that work together. If you um, know anything about theater and putting on plays, you know that for every play you need your cast, that's the group of actors, and you need your crew, that's the group of people that take care of the lights and the curtain and the um, costumes and the uh, set changes and all of that. Okay, Drew is a verb. It is the past tense of draw. Now I draw a picture. Yesterday I drew a picture. Or if you're talking about cards, right? Pick a card. Oh, I drew the ace, right? It means to pull a card. Fruit 
is something we eat. That is a noun. Grew is a verb. It is also just like blue and drew. Grew is the past tense of a verb. It is the past tense of grow. Now I grow tomatoes in my garden. Last summer I grew tomatoes in my garden. New, we talked about this. This is also a verb. It's the past tense of no. Now I know the answer. Yesterday I knew the answer. Screw can be a noun if we're talking about a screw, right? Oh, this, a screw fell out of my desk and now it's loose, right? Or I have to tighten the screw. It can also be used as a verb though because you use a screwdriver to screw things into place. Suit is a noun. It could be like a, a man's suit that he would wear to a wedding, a, a you know, pair of pants and a jacket, that would be a suit. It could also be, again, if we're talking about a deck of cards, a deck of cards has four suits, the hearts, the diamonds, the spades, and the clubs. Um, so that is definitely a thing. Through is another verb. Again, it's the past tense. Yeah, now I throw the ball. Yesterday I threw the ball. True is an adjective. It's a describing word, right? Like, she gave me a true answer. Or I don't think um, the wor those words are true. It's the opposite of false, right? So, this week we have a mix of nouns and verbs and just a little sprinkling of adjectives. Um, but real quick, I want you to just pay attention to those verbs because when you get to page 146, you are going to be sorting your verbs into present tense and past tense, okay? So use your ear, use what you know about the English language to figure out what sounds right. All right, that's all I have for you today. Good luck, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.